Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I'm doing a review of the 1976 remake of King Kong. Now there's actually two cuts of this movie. There's the theatrical cut and the lost TV cut is now able to be watched on the recent Blu-rays. And that is just amazing. Now which version am I doing a review of? Well, let's do both. This is the first remake of King Kong, and this movie has very mixed opinions in the fanbase. Either people love it, or people hate it, or in the middle. What's my opinion on it? Well, let's get into my review. Let's first talk about the characters. This movie decided to do something different with the characters. Instead of remaking the characters we know and love, they decided to do a reimagined scene of these characters. Let's first talk about my favorite character, Jack Prescott played by Jeff Bridges. And his acting the formats, it's just really good. He just played this very likable character. One scene I really love about his character is when he reveals himself to the order crew, he has this very well done monologue scene when he's talking about the island. It's really haunting and just creepy. This character has to be my favorite version of Jat in any of the movies. I guess now let's talk about the beauty of Tame the Beast, Duan, played by Jethika Lane. I have very mixed opinions about his character. There's things I do like about her and things I don't like about her. The things I don't like about her is her relationship with Khan. I just find her relationship very weird and creepy because of two scenes. The one scene is the waterfall scene when Khan starts giving her a bath and he starts to blow on her and seems like she's enjoying it. Please don't fuck the monkey. Another scene is just really uncomfortable to watch is when Khan starts to undress her. Now to be fair, this scene is in the original, but in the original King Khan was just more being a curious animal. In this one, he's a straight up pervert. Now there is some scenes I do like with her and Khan, like the scene when she puts Khan, that's just badass. And at the end of the movie, when she begs Khan to not put her down, that is really well acted and just very haunting with her screams. One thing I do really like about her is she's a very tragic character. She wants to be a star so bad and she don't know if she's okay with using this creature to come the star. I really love her romance with Jat cause it's just really tragic. There's a scene in the TV cut where Jat tells her if Khan dies, this relationship won't work because it would haunt us for all our lives. And at the end of the film when Khan dies, she is surrounded by paparazzi, finery a star, and all Jack can do is look at her. No loving embrace, just her screaming his name. And in my opinion, I don't think they end up together at the end. It's a really tragic love story. I guess now we're talked about the villain of the movie, Fred Wilson. This character is a wonderful villain because he's just such an asshole and so greedy you just want to see this guy go down. And this character when he dies getting squished by Khan it's such an awarding death scene. But in the TV cut they hint to him surviving. Honestly I don't really like that I feel him dying because it's just a lot more awarding. Now I guess let's talk about the other characters. They are okay, my punch of the favorite is probably Roy because he's actually quite funny especially the scene when he tells Fred about the Oreo not being good. So my final thoughts on the characters, I think they are really good honestly. They do have flaws but they're just so very interesting to me. I guess now we should talk about the 8th wonder of the world, King Kong, and the effects. Special effects were done by Rick Bethel. Something kinda cool, he also plays Khan in this movie, with another suit after. The King Khan suit is really well done, I love how Khan looks in this movie, especially his eyes, they're just really creepy. Also King Khan in this movie is really scary at some points and I really like that. Cool fun fact, King Khan's grunts were done by Peter Colden, the voice actor for Ultimate Prime. That is awesome. 
Also, the scenes when King Kong destroys stuff like the wall or the train, they're just so well done and just awesome. Especially the scene in the TV cut when King Kong picks up that car and throws it against the building. That scene is just so freaking cool. I also really like the fact that they still use the original method with the giant hand and they match it up with the suit really well. Now I do have some criticisms with the effects. One of them is the giant Kong Amelotronit. Also, Carwen Baldi did the effect for the giant Amelotronit. It's cool is so big, but it looks so bad. Let's talk about the snake. The snake looks so bad. It's a really bad effect. The only good thing about it is death scene. That actually is one thing I do like about this movie, the fact that this movie is so gory, especially Khan's death scene. There's just so much blood and I just really liked it. Also, I just want to mention, as King Khan dies, you hear his heartbeat slowly go. And that's something I just really liked it, honestly. So my thoughts on the effects, I would say they are really good. There is some bad effects in this movie, but still really good effects and very well done. Now I just want to mention the music by John Barry. This soundtrack is so good. Just sounds beautiful but also haunting at the same time. Something I want to mention, I love this one scene when Khan is knocked out and the island natives go up to him and start to bow. That is just really well done and I just love that. So what is my final thoughts on the 1976 remake of King Khan? I actually have a pretty interesting relationship with this movie, because as a kid, I thought this movie was boring and I did not like it. But as an adult, my opinion had changed. There's something about this movie just keeps luring me in again and again to rewatch it, and more times I see it, the more I like this movie. So I would say, this movie is good. Now which version of the movie I like more, the TV cut or the Farachita cut? I like both, for different reasons. The biggest difference is with the two cuts is the TV cut mainly just had the Senate scenes and some elitist scenes. Honestly, I wish was in the original version because they add a lot to the movie, especially with the characters. Now, one thing I want to mention is is this movie better than the original? No. Mainly because it's nothing like the original King Kong, and I don't even think you should really appeal the two. Mainly because this movie is set in modern day. 1976, and it has its own type of characters. This movie is more of a reimagining of King Kong. To me, I see this movie as its own thing. Well, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me down below what you think of King Kong 1976, and which version of the movie do you like more? Do you like the Farachita cut or the TV cut more? Tell me down below. If you're new, subscribe. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. Xanafar is out. Oh, my God.